Henrik in Oslo, Norway writes, Hi Paul, I bought the Octave Records Gasoline Lollipop Nightmares as a 192 24 PCM download. That's a great album. Clay Rose on that is just amazing. If you haven't heard Gasoline Lollipop's Nightmares, go to octaverecords.com and, and at least audition it. If you like that kind of music, which I do, it's kind of rock, it, boy, Clay Rose is, is, is amazing. It's a great and a super good recording. Anyway, the download sounded great, good, which was no surprise. <laughs> well, it's Octave Records, what do you expect? But I got curious and found the album at a streaming service that did not sound very good. Mm -hmm. I thought it might be the resolution, so I made a regular Redbook CD from the downloaded album. Remember, he downloaded it at 192, and now he has to transcode it to 44.1 to make it onto a CD. And I listened to it. It was not as good as the 192.24, but still infinitely better than the streaming version. The streaming version had a lot more bass, the treble sounded more like white noise than music, and it kind of sucked. I therefore turn to you as the oracle that you are. <laughs> Do they mess it up on purpose? Maybe they don't like sibilance. I hope you can explain. Well, we've had this discussion before. I don't have a very great answer on streaming in general. In general, streaming from Kobas, from Tidal, those are the two main high resolution standard resolution streaming services where Spotify, I don't think they ever came up with high res. I think everything they do is, is lossy. But both Tidal and Cobuzz are presenting non-lossy, should be the same. I mean, they're digits moving over lots of wire, but at the end, that shouldn't really matter. And yet, it does. But that's not what you're hearing, okay? Because those differences are not huge. I, st I play streaming stuff all day long. When you come here for a demo, for a tour, most likely most of the music you'll hear will be streaming on Cobuzz. It sounds great. It's, you know, if you do a direct AB between uh, our, our SACD player on the same exact piece, yeah, the SACD player sounds better. But is it light years better? Is it as you're describing? Uh-uh, nope. So, what's going on? Well, I will tell you. So, <laughs> at Octave Records, our deal with musicians is pretty simple. You, we cover all the expenses for the recording, okay? Which is a great boon to any musician. We cover all the expenses, and then we sell them at octaverecords.com and try and recoup our expenses. We don't do a very good job of recouping our expenses. <laughs> I hear about it in finance meetings all the time, but we try. And I appreciate everybody buying uh, you know, these great discs from us or downloads from us because it helps pay the bills. Are we making money on Octave Records? Uh, no. Are we breaking even? And no. But you know what? <laughs> We're certainly not doing it to make money. We're doing it to raise the level of high performance audio so that people have great recordings to listen to. I, I, you know, I, it's all I can do. I can't change the recording industry. I can't go out and say 99% of all the stuff that you're producing today from some of the best artists. Like, oh, it broke my heart when the new Adele came out. Like, Who's in charge of recording this? Oh, don't get me going, because she's such a wonderful artist. Adele, if you're listening, we'll give you a free recording. At least <laughs> bring your producer, your whole production crew. We'll make it sound good. Ah, what a shame. She's such a great artist. And, and from an audiophile's perspective, it's like, oh, how could you do that? But anyway, I'm getting off on a tangent. So part of our deal is we pay for all the recordings, we make great recordings, and they come out really, really good. But they are not, how do I put this? They are not 
always what bands think is great. Maybe that's the case with Adele. She probably listened to that and said it sounds wonderful. I would assume she's a big enough star where she can get anything she wants. So maybe to her it sounds great. We don't agree as people interested in high quality audio. So I know for a fact that Clay Rose and the Gasoline Lollipops took our master files and went and had them remixed and remastered. And they did it because they wanted it to sound more compressed, louder, more bass, ba 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 ba, right? Things we would never do. And we allow artists, after six months when you record with us, once we release an album, after six months, we give a standard resolution copy to the musicians and they can go do what they want with it. And some of them uh, recognize how great the recordings are and they take it and they put it up on Spotify or whatever to help their ratings. They don't make any money off of it, but it helps their, you know, their popularity, which is great. Others that shall go unnamed decide they want to go out and remaster it. And that's what they do. And I don't agree with it. And you apparently don't either. So there you go. Okay. <laughs> I probably got myself in enough hot water. All right. Thanks. Bye. Mm -hmm.